Oh, oh. You know, I'm I'm sensing another dynamic also here because you know the Lord that has can multitask. He's doing a lot of different things mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I remember Cindy for uh oh, you know, well the Bible says that he doesn't do anything unless he first reveals it to the prophets. Mm -hmm. And when he reveals it to the prophets, we take that and sometimes we formulate something from it. And remember you just within the last couple of years, you've been saying it's 1948 again. It's 1948 again. <laughs> I agree. And, and I'm running been, around yeah, my this, house saying this is, that. <laughs> this is really interesting, Chuck, because, you know, the thought was, and it's been, and she started articulating it. We're going to start seeing tent revivals again. And I'm thinking, well, we haven't seen tent revivals since the forties and fifties. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, different people are starting to say, we're going to do a tent revival. Absolutely. And, and I remember, and you probably remember this too, we had an initiative of uh, I-35 Highway of Holiness. Yeah. That's that? about in 2006 or, yeah. or seven or wherever. And, and the outworking of that was, it was due to prophetic revelation that God wanted our highways to be highways of holiness. And so we ended up with, I think, 17 different facilities from Laredo all the way up to Duluth, Minnesota, where they were having 24-hour prayer. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, we were one of them. Yeah, you are and, for 35 and days. the thing is, that is beginning to spring forth again. We just a couple of weeks ago went to a Texas tent revival just north of Denton, actually. It, on yeah, 35. I, I've seen the tent. I've seen the tent and, up there. And <laughs> Mario Murillo is doing one in California up through the valley. Rich Vera from, I mean, is in going Florida? taking in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it interesting? It's like... Now, wait, uh, I need to prophesy. Okay, good. Okay, okay. And the Lord would say for glory of Zion that it is time to pavilion mm -hmm. oh I, I literally see a pavilion being it, it could be temporary but it could be a permanent one for like brush arbor meetings and i see uh, and i don't know if it'd be on the property you used to have or where you are now but i see literally so much glory the lord says it's time to pavilion yourself in my glory, oh, says oh. the Lord. And I see this a pavilion uh, also where people could eat, uh, people can fellowship, there will be worship. And the Lord says, take it out of the box and pavilion me before the nation, says the Lord. That is so crazy. We. <laughs> Lord, all you can do that. You know, we built the pavilion out here. No. Uh -huh. We've done it. Oh. And it overlooks the garden. And oh. for instance, the all four cities that surround us, they came to us and said, can we have a gathering of the four cities there and the uh, Hawaiians do a, a entertainment and and uh, actually uh, service and do a luau for us. <laughs> That's the changes that are coming to the church right now. Wow! I mean, the city is coming to the door of the church. People are we're saying, God, get us out of this last church building that we've been in. And it's big. <laughs> get us moving and get us moving into. Yeah different places i'm telling you we're on the verge of everything you're prophesying right now and it's going to happen to all of us yeah My and i see i see chuck also i see from your sons and daughters them literally having like pavilion meetings i'm not i i yeah, see yeah. that now this apostolically, and I want to say this for you watching, okay, others, because mm -hmm. this is going to spring something inside, something stirring inside of you, and you didn't know how to articulate it. But I see some people will take tents, some people will do what we used to call brush arbor meetings, mm -hmm. some people will, you know, you're going to, it's going to look different ways, you might just string some lights up in the middle of a yeah. field, but the Lord yeah. says, get out of the box. 
And the Lord says, you will see, I will manifest my glory in the supernatural realm that will like be a shockwave to humanism. Oh. It will be a shockwave to rationalization that God cannot be real. The Lord says, I saw the humanist manifest and when it was written, and they said, there's no supernatural or prayer hearing God. And when they put science in is God. But the Lord says, I am the God of the universe. The universe is not God. I am the God of the universe. And I listen to, I'm praying for you. I, the Lord says, I am anointing you to pavilion me in my glory in other words just i i just see literally a place that that, that is open that people can come and see and the lord not says oh taste and see that i am good says the lord the new wine is found in the cluster isaiah 65 8 and the lord says i'm going to start drawing people in it's going to be a supernatural drawing the lord says i'm going to draw them to these places and the lord says it is not a feeding program it is a fellowship feast ah. and the lord says if you will have these fellowship feasts people are going to run to the lord and see his goodness mm. Woo. <laughs> ah. see we're shifting so much right now all of us and and it's sort of exciting and we've got to stay in time just like cindy said this is what the lord showed me he said uh i i have rescheduled you oh and uh and then here's what he said your role is to maintain and enforce what i am doing in you Mm -hmm. And so all of a sudden, I saw how my whole life had been rescheduled. And uh, then I would notice when the last season would try to bring me back into last schedule. Mm. And uh, then the Lord said, now there's a, he showed me, he said, there's another piece. I want you to help other people stay out of the box of their last schedule. Mm -hmm. And so it, it almost became like a chess match with me because he he made me operate in love and grace, which he does. You know, that's part of us being who we are. And uh, until faith, until I could sense faith mm. rising up in a new way. And then I could only speak faith. Mm. And it became like a, a new training structure he was taking me through in my own life. And then with that, all of a sudden, he said, now, not only do you have to stay in the new, you have to make sure everybody that comes into your path be drawn into that new mm. place that I'm mm. calling them. He said, mm. many aren't even aware mm -hmm. of what all I have planned for them. And it mm. almost shifted my whole perspective in the prophetic. Mm. Looking you know, at Chuck, we got a word um, from a young prophet that was speaking at our church Trinity a couple of weeks ago. And he said, it's the rural areas. Mm. It's the rural areas. And so I've been chewing on that. I said, what do you want, you know, Mike and I to go like from little town to little town to little town to little town. He says, well, there will be some of that, but I, I want you to ekbalo. You know, the word says to send the labors. I want you to yeah. ekbalo your sons and daughters to fill states and nations with the glory. And, and I can see that happening out of what you're doing. And I mean, literally forming teams and say, okay, this is our metron. This is our spear. And we're going to fill this with glory. We're going to fill you know, all these little towns, you know, around Denton and Corinth, Corinth, we're going to fill it with our, with the glory. And I feel like when I, the Lord kept shouting 1948 again, which was when the, um, uh, of course, Israel was born, but also the voice of healing was birthed. Voice of healing, everything was birthed. Like yes. That. Yeah. So anyway, but I see, and again, that's a different understanding of our Metron. 
you know, yes, we need our buildings, but the Lord says they're sending ekbalos. Yes, 